Hello hackers, I'm Jan, this is Poem College, and in this video we're going to be talking about binary data. Uh, if you're watching this on a computing device, which you are, uh, your computing device internally inside the CPU is furiously thinking about ones and zeros. No matter what you're doing on the computing device, oh, you might be writing software, while watching this movie, you might be reading text, et cetera, et cetera. All of this data internally is then ones and zeros. It's either ones and zeros because it's compiled to code that's ones and zeros, or it's ones and zeros because it is a image file that internally in, in, in reality is actually a bunch of ones and zeros. It's text that also is a bunch of ones and zeros in the computer. All right. What are these ones and zeros? These ones and zeros are binary. A binary is a, uh, numerical uh, base system around the with a base of two, right? Binary has two numbers. Decimal has 10 numbers, 10 digits from zero to nine. Binary, you have zero and one, right? And if you uh, want to express a bigger number than one, you have to add an additional place, an additional digit place. So if you, in decimal count, zero, one, two, three, as you see in this table, in binary you got zero, one, one, zero, one, one, et cetera. And this gets very confusing very quickly. You know, if I tell you, hey, go to the store and get me one, one, zero, one, one apples, you're not gonna right off the bat say, oh, that's 27 apples, et cetera. And one of the reasons for this is, uh, the decimal placements even don't align very well with what we're used to. We're used to base 10, right? Uh, or the digit plan. So, so in base 10, um, because we have 10 fingers, as I keep showing you, uh, you count up to nine and then you have a nice round number 10, you count up to 20 and then you have an, or 20, uh, 19, and then you have a nice, you know, and then you count up to, 99 and then you have a nice around 100 um and uh, the places at which we add uh digits is not the same in binary in binary you add a digit every power of two right every what do we call bit boundary right so you go zero one and then at two you have one zero and then for eight you add a digit for 16 you add a digit for for four you'd add a digit and and this desynchronization where like it's such a momentous thing in binary to go from three to four. You add a digit and in decimal, just, I don't know, three to four. Whereas in decimal going from 99 to a hundred, you add a digit, but in, in binary, uh, you know, 99 to a hundred is the, actually the same amount of digits. 128 is when the next digit gets added. This is, makes it tricky to track and very quickly compute uh, 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 translations from binary to decimal and so on. Um, and so base 10 is not a good way to think about binary numbers. And base 10 is what we're more used to than binary, right? So we need a better solution. And that better solution um, is other numerical bases that are powers of two. In, in fact, let me uh, hide my video here so you can see this table. Um, other numerical bases, uh, can be uh, base eight, so that's two to the third. And this, the reason that we want a uh, power of two for the base is that if it's two to the third, every digit in octal, and in octal digits go from zero to seven, represents three bits. You can see over here that it, as long as we have less than three bits, we have one digit here. Octal usually is prepended with O or uh, or zero or zero O. And then over here, when we add a digit in octal, we're also adding a digit in binary. And it makes things much easier to compute and much easier to reason about what the, the sizes, uh, potential uh, magnitudes, basically, of, of numbers between binary and octal. Hex. Um, is a uh, base 16 hexadecimal. Um, uh, it is uh, two to the fourth. So every hex digit uh, represents up to four binary digits, right? So uh, we go from 
0 to f because one problem with hex is how do we count past 10 in a single digit well we start going a b c so in hex a is 10 b is 11 c is 12 d is 13 e is 14 f is 15 and 16 in base 16 is 1 0 and then you start all over so over here if we want to talk about uh 1 1 1 1 well that's easy that is hex f and this because it is the last binary digit before you go beyond uh four bits and or the last binary number before you go beyond four bits and f is the last hex digit before you go to two uh digits right what's really cool about this is there are these 16 mappings from any four bits and the appropriate hex and if you memorize those then as long as the number of bits that you're dealing with is some multiple of four which it always is and we'll talk about that um, in future videos you're good to go if you rec remember that mapping and recognize that mapping and say oh yeah yeah one one zero zero that's c or c is one one zero zero or seven is one 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 and you will learn these encodings then you can start reasoning about binary data using its hex representation very cool all right now quick uh pause and let's talk about like why are we using this this binary stuff in the first place right why can't computers think in base three instead of base two or base 10. And the reality is there are kind of uh, little toy machines, research machines, early historical machines that, 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 that use other bases. Um, but base two is very easy. If you think about electricity, base two is there's either current running through the wire or there isn't. That's a one or a zero. And when we build logic gates, it's much easier to design things that just reason about yes or no and then in combinations of, of yes and no they cause complex logic to happen yes no is much easier to reason about than yes no and i don't know maybe or something right or a little bit um and so binary really won out over other potential computing designs there are as shown on the slide for example other designs throughout history they just don't really uh see the light of day very often um, okay, that's a quick introduction to binary and then different ways of representation, uh, representing binary numbers in octal hex, et cetera, et cetera. Hex specifically, we'll hold on to for a while. Next, let's dive into groups of binary numbers.